pray, and let God worry. Is prayer your steering wheel or your spare tire? Pray as though everything depended on God. Work as though everything depended on you. Every great movement of God can be traced to a kneeling figure. The value of consistent prayer is not that He will hear us, but that we will hear Him. Prayer is the vital breath of the Christian, not the thing that makes him alive, but the evidence that he is alive. Prayer honors God, acknowledges His being, exalts His power, adores His providence, secures His aid. I have been driven many times upon my knees by the overwhelming conviction that I had nowhere else to go. My own wisdom and that of all about me seemed insufficient for that day. To be a Christian without prayer is no more possible than to be alive without breathing. I know of no better thermometer to your spiritual temperature than this, the measure of the intensity of your prayer. Don't worry about having the right words. Worry more about having the right heart. It's not eloquence he seeks, just honesty. Grant that I may not pray alone with the mouth, help me that I may pray from the depths of my heart. Four things let us ever keep in mind, God hears prayer, God heeds prayer, God answers prayer, and God delivers by prayer. Prayer requires more of the heart than of the tongue. Prayer is the way you defeat the devil. Reach the lost, restore a backslider, strengthen the saints, send missionaries out, cure the sick, accomplish the impossible, and know the will of God. In prayer, it is better to have heart without words, than words without heart. Prayer will make a man cease from sin, or sin entice a man to cease from prayer. The spirit of prayer is more precious than treasures of gold and silver. Pray often. For prayer is a shield to the soul, a sacrifice to God, and a scourge for Satan.